Hi, I am Giri Prakash from the Federal. In today's episode of Big Money, we will discuss something every parent with teenage children is concerned about. With the news surrounding the country's biggest edutech platform, parents may feel overwhelmed by when choosing the right online edutech platform for the children. Especially considering recent concerns with platforms like Baidu's, what is of more significance is that in their anxiety to give the best the education has to offer, parents usually end up paying a lot more money, dipping into their hard-earned savings to fund the education of the children. It has been reported that uh, certain edutech platforms uh, they actually go ahead and lure parents with a lot of promises and engage them in uh, buying a loan from certain fintech companies who charge extremely high rate of interest. While that is one part of the uh, story, the other part is that even if the edutech platform does not actually end up uh, offering what they had uh, their 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 sales team had uh, offered earlier uh, and they have to live with this edutech platform because of the fact that they have to continue paying uh, emis uh, to this fintech companies sometimes they are so heavy that it's as good as buying a two bedroom uh, house i'm 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 exaggerating here a bit or rather a bit lot but uh, so severe uh, are the conditions that you just cannot go back uh on the loan papers that you have signed so what should the uh, parents do about it how should they uh find out which is the right edutech platform and what is the criteria for uh, choosing uh the right kind of uh, these edutech platforms so here they go before selecting a platform conduct a thorough analysis and research just don't get lured in by sales stock there are quite a few uh, who uh, will try to uh, promise you a lot but offer you less than what they promised at the end of the course therefore go ahead and explore reviews and ratings of different edutech platforms to gain insights into their effectiveness and user friendliness ask the sales persons to share the uh, phone numbers of parents uh across the country and uh, you talk to them personally and find out whether they are actually worth their money worth their actually savings compatibility ensure that the chosen edutech platform is compatible with your child's systems what it means is uh, it it's important that you consider the devices operating system internet connections uh, etc features look for platforms that offer features with your child's learning needs some platforms or provide personalized learning paths while others offer interactive quizzes and games communication choose a platform that facilitates easy communication with between parents teachers and students features like messaging video conferencing progress tracking can enhance collaboration and involvement it's very important that you really are able to maximize the money that you end up paying and in return what you end up getting it's very very important that you do that and please don't hesitate to ask hard questions or rather tough questions parents resources consider platforms that offer valuable resources for families to support learning at home websites such as edu edutopia understood.org and state education departments provide a wealth of information for our parents this could be about a certain country or different countries or about state governments and different state governments screen time management make the most of screen time by understanding the age appropriate guidelines setting limits and helping your child develop positive technology habits and let him not become addicted to uh, the screen itself functionality assess the usability and navigability of the edutech platform it should be user friendly and easy to understand for both parents and children parental involvement look for platforms that encourage parental involvement in the learning process it's very very important 
you know it's not that you pay for the emis and you and your uh, you have nothing to do that with that afterwards because the edutech platforms actually literally ban you from uh, getting involved in the day to day uh, learning of their uh, children parents should be able to receive updates on their child's progress and actively participate uh, in in their education because um, when there are physical schools and all that you can actually go there and talk to them this is an online platform uh, and therefore your ability to uh, reach out to the right people is very restricted and why are we emphasizing on this because of the fact that when you start paying money for this uh, it's important that you get very good returns to assess the effectiveness of edutech platforms in improving children's learning outcomes consider the following measuring learning outcomes some platform offer tools to measure learning effectiveness through grade outcomes utilize this information to evaluate the platform's impact on your child's learning progress longitudinal studies look for evidence from longitudinal studies that demonstrate the uh, the the effectiveness uh, of edutech platforms in improving learning outcomes these studies track children's progress over time providing valuable insights parent communication platforms with effective parent communication tools enable updates on child's progress and school events this aids uh, parents in monitoring their child's progress and evaluating the platform's effectiveness and there is something very important here it is about the formative assessment what are formative assessments platform platforms which support formative assess, assessment can actually provide insights uh, into their effectiveness and improving learning outcomes utilize this information to identify areas where your child requires additional support and track their progress parental involvement which we keep emphasizing a lot more but it's very very important that they are you are there uh even though you're not physically present during those uh, online classrooms you are there monitoring the child's progress on a day to day affair and uh, as usual keeps getting feedback from parents from uh, edutech uh, leaders uh, from every resource that you can get and assuming that you find that uh after having enrolled for an edutech platform it's not going to offer whatever that it has promised you can actually uh go to the uh, nearest uh, consumer court and file a case it might seem that it is long drawn who has the ability to do it uh usually parents today are uh, both of them are working so they don't have the time but the uh, consumer uh, uh grievance cell or consumer Uh, courts do take all that into consideration uh, and then they make the entire process very very easy it might take you some years to get whatever um, uh, you know award uh, that uh, consumer court gives you in your favor but you would have you would have made a point not only to uh, yourself but to all those who might be considering to uh, actually enroll their students into this edutech platform so you are doing a Uh, a larger um, um, you know um, social good when when you do something like this so therefore keep your ears and eyes open do a lot of research and um, uh, it's important that don't be in a hurry don't be anxious uh, and uh, even if it takes you a lot more time uh, don't fall in for peer pressure uh, and um, if if you find that almost all edutech platforms are not good enough for your own, for your children then uh, you can hire private tuitions uh, for for, uh, for for your children uh, there are there are there are quite a few alternatives quite a few choices that that you can have but do not allow yourself to lured into these kind of schemes where your lifelong savings uh, go waste so good luck to you parents and have a good time thank you very much subscribe to the federal's youtube page for more news and updates